Hi, I'm Maddie. Have you ever considered why animals glow? Bacteria, mushrooms, worms, jellyfish and even sharks glow in the dark. Many of these animals achieve illumination in a similar way to a glow stick. A chemical cocktail of two compounds, luciferin and luciferase, react in the presence of oxygen and photons of light are emitted. So if we cut the lights, it should look a bit like this. Most of the planet's bioluminescent animals live in a very specific part of the ocean, known as the dysphotic zone or the twilight ocean. Between 200 and 1,000 metres beneath the surface, here scientists estimate that over 90% of animals can glow. But why do they bother? The deep sea anglerfish uses a glowing lure to attract prey. On land, fireflies use bioluminescence to find a mate. By emitting light at different intervals and wavelengths, each species is able to find just the right mate. In fact, it's thought that fireflies are one of the world's most efficient light producers. An average household bulb wastes nearly 90% of its energy on heat, only 10% is actually utilised as light. The firefly, however, is able to convert almost 100% of its energy into light. Although communication is often the reason that animals glow, scientists have been left in the dark as to why scorpions fluoresce. They reflect ultraviolet light, but nobody really knows why. So we sent Chris out to California to meet Professor Philip Brownell to shed some light on the subject. They're extremely brilliant signal in, in yellow-green light when you shine UV on them. So a couple of theories that it might be a residual effect of having been diurnal animals out in an intensely sunny environment, and it could act as a kind of sunscreen. But we don't believe that's the case because all modern scorpions that live out in open deserts are brilliantly fluorescent. So we've had a theory for a long time that these things are actually very uh, luminescent at a very low level in the, nights, in the night sky and that they attract insects to them. The desert moths that are nocturnal are known to have very high sensitivity to light. In fact, they're attracted to fluorescent flowers called enothera. The insects are attracted to the light, they hit the surface, the scorpion detects them from the vibration of that impact, and then they capture them. For doing research on a nocturnal animal, this is very difficult to do, right? You can't see things at night. So that makes this animal a really uniquely accessible preparation for biological studies. You can see every individual that's on the surface out active at night and count them and know exactly what that population is and um, see what they're eating and how they're mating. So it's a really powerful tool for studying animals that live at night. Well, there you have it. We still have no idea why scorpions fluoresce. It might be that it's a sunscreen, a residual thing from years ago. It might be that it simply attracts moths in the middle of the night. Or it might be that it's just helpful for scientists when they go about their business. Subscribe for more illuminating subjects. See you next time on Earth Unplugged. Right, okay, so my producer has the magic button, so any second I should be feeling an electrical pulse. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> okay, that's okay. So right now I'm feeling... <laughs> oh, that's... Ah! <laughs> that's